I just flipped a home and I sold it on the market. Now I'm looking for another deal. And what I learned in wholesaling is going to help me find my next deal. And instead of just doing it on my own, I decided to film it for you all so you all can learn step-by-step step how to find wholesale real estate deals or just real estate deals in general. I'm going to show you all the different softwares I use, the different types of marketing campaigns I'm going to run, and the types of marketing I'm going to use to find my next deal because right now my real estate agent doesn't have another deal in the pipeline. And so I decided to take it upon myself to find my next deal. If you all are interested in just the different softwares and resources I use, check my links down below. Please comment down below if you have any questions because I think this video is going to be extremely valuable for you all because I'm going to share my screen with you all, show you all step by step. So please take notes, you know, have a notepad or have your digital notepad um, ready because I'm about to go step by step. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and let's get right into it. All right, so first I'm using this software called CallRail. CallRail allows me to have a phone number uh, a second phone number that goes directly to my cell phone because I'm going to actually um, use a, a type of marketing that I don't want to put my personal cell on. So whether you're texting, whether you're co-calling or using direct mail, you may not want to put your personal cell on that. Uh, and so I'm using the software called CallRail. CallRail allows you to have another number that directs you to your personal cell. And so when people, what shows up on caller IDs or on different marketing campaigns, whether you're doing Google ads or direct mail, it'll be that number and it just redirects to your personal cell. So right now I don't have any numbers made. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna go right here. I believe you can go to settings, click number and then create number. And then from here, it's going to tell you what kind of, what are you going to use this number for? And then I'm going to say, you can say for website, search ads and more, print ads, direct mail and more. So I'm going to be using direct mail. So I'm going to click this option. And then where do you want to route these calls? Enter an existing phone number where we should forward your calls. And so I'm going to enter my personal cell to forward the numbers to. All right. so. Right here, they have different options. They say you can pick a tracking number that's specific to an area code, and so you enter the area code, or specific to your local personal cell, or you can have a toll-free number. So you have all these three options. I'm going to click the number in a specific area code. And so for example, I may put in an 828 area code number, and I can use one of these numbers to direct it directly to uh, my personal cell. And so that's what I would do on this section. All right, so now I'm going to set up a call flow for this new number that I set up uh, for my direct mail. So I'm just going to click here, set up call flow. All right, and then for from here, um, I already made a call flow, um, I guess, system, um, inbound voicemail, direct to voicemail, and so something I would do right here, I'll just click this and add it to that because what I want is, you know, I work part time, I do other things. And so I'm not going to have the time to pick up phone calls. And so when people call the number off of my postcard, I want it to go directly to voicemail. And so in my voicemail, I may say something like, hey, uh, thank you for calling the number off the postcard and being interested in selling your home. I'm interested in buying, uh, please leave your name and um, just leave your name and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or like leave your name and the address you're interested in selling. And that's essentially it. And then once I get that voicemail within a good amount of time, 24 hours or less, I'll call them back and see if they're interested in selling. All right, so now I'm on ProStream because I'm going to pull a list to target in my real estate business. and. If you all are interested in ProStream, check my link down below. You get a seven free day trial. It's a powerful software that, where you can find distressed properties. So for example, I'm in this county here and where I'm going to look for is I'm going to look for non-occupied properties, vacant properties to be exact. And so I'm going to click vacant, make sure it's non-owner occupied. I don't think that should make a, a big difference. 
put no. And then property characteristics. Um, I want to make sure it's residential, of course. I don't think that should change much. It does change a lot, actually, residential. It seems like commercial is another empty thing. So I'm just going to click residential and keep it at, at that. Um, and then from here, MLS status is not on market. Ownership information. I want them to own the property for at least 10 years. I'm trying to really go deep into those lists and evaluation and equity. I want them to own and an unknown sales date. I want to put that into an evaluation equ equity. I want them to own at least 50% of the property. I know I'm kind of going fast, but that's my list for this whole county. Um, I know it may be a lot, maybe a little, but there's only 561 properties that fit that criteria. So from here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this list, upload it to Excel, then upload it to my direct mail uh, software service. So let me do that now. I can't really show so much because um, Google YouTube does flag, like if I show people's address along with their name. And so I'm just gonna pause it right here. And then once I have it made in my Excel sheet, then I'm going to show you all how to upload it on your direct mail. All right, so before I finish up cleaning my list, I need to show you all something very important on the website I use to send my direct mail. So I use yellow letter HQ. And so right here, I'm going to click shop right here. You know, I made my account and everything. I'm going to click postcards. I'm gonna shop now. Okay, then I'm going to do first class. These are the prices, they're a little pricey. So let's say you send about a thousand postcards, that's 55 cents each. And so they have their different templates. They have postcards on file that you already used before. But for example, they have absentee handwritten list. And you can just look at it, just click it. And it says something like, hi, my name is Todd. I buy unwanted properties for cash. Um, and then it's caring for this one at this street, a burden. Are you looking to sell? I pay cash, any situation, any condition, cash buyer. Call or text this number, right? For me, I have my own postcard and I'll show you all a template of it soon. But essentially what it says is that, same similar uh, verbiage, but I say, hey, I don't speak to you all directly. I know you're a busy person. Um, once you call this number, you'll hear a pre-recorded message and you can leave your information then. I think I can show it right now, actually. So let me see if I click here and I look at, look at an example. So for example, this is something, listen to my pre-recorded message, boom. And that's all I put. My name is blank. Hi, my name is Matthew and I want to buy your house. I will pay cash. All you have to do is call me at this at and then number to listen to my pre-recorded message about this matter. Call 24 hours a day, seven days a week to listen to my message. No one will answer. So that's just to leave it to them to do all the information and just to leave their name and their address if they're interested in selling. Um, but something very important that you have to realize um, in this is that you have to make sure um, your Excel sheet is, is, is in the same format as this website. So for example, I already kind of know it, but these are what, what came from PropStream. So it has owner's first name, owner's last name, address, mailing address, mailing city, date added to list, method add. These two, you can just delete them, honestly. You don't need these. These are the criteria you need, all right? 
And so once I download the list, upload it, I'm going to make sure I have the right headings for each of the titles. All right, so this is an example list they gave us from Yellow Letter. So essentially, this is how your heading should be like. It should have your first name, last name of the, of the owner. Then it should have their full name. It should have the mailing address, the mailing um, address too, if there's a second part to it, mailing city and mailing state mailing zip code and then the property address require if there's only one address on list map both mailing and property address so essentially you need their mailing address and property address and since i'm doing vacant list i'm going to have a different mailing address than the property address because these are owners that own properties that they don't live in and so i'm going to have two different addresses but that's the right format that you need to use in yellow letter hq all right, you all, I hope you all enjoyed this step-by-step -step video on exactly how I'm pulling my list. I actually showed you all the type of list I'm pulling to look for my next deal to flip on in real estate. And so hopefully I can get a deal um, with this and I'll keep you all updated if I get any hits from pulling this list. And I pulled this um, list from different counties around my area. So it was just this one county um, because on ProStream you can't pull a list and then look for another list and then add it to that existing list and then add another list to that that original existing list so you can have a larger uh, a pool of people. And so right now I have around uh, a thousand on that list. And so um, I'm just going to see what works. I wonder if it's just like just mailing that same list a couple of times or maybe I should go broad and just mail like a list of like 7,000 properties and see what happens. But I'll keep you all updated. But this was a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how you can start your real estate business as a beginner. Um, and I showed you all that. So I hope this was helpful for you all. If you have any questions, please let me know down below and I'll talk to you all later.